has requested to try out haul. I went shopping this weekend for my birthday. My birthday is actually today. I am not going to be doing anything for my birthday because everybody's busy pretty much. So I decided I'd go shopping out of town by myself and buy like wintry stuff because I do need more wintry clothes because not none of my wintry clothes fit me. And I have a lot of summer clothes but it's not summertime anymore so I went winter shopping. I pretty much bought everything from Urban Planet. There's a little bit of Bath & Body Works and a little bit of Sephora. The reason I love Urban Planet clothes is the most expensive piece of clothing I bought, I think there might have been a $30 one, most of their clothing is between $14 to $25. So it's really cheap stuff so you're never really spending a fortune and I really like their clothes. I really think they're stylish and that's why I love shopping there. This I think is the most expensive piece of clothing that I bought and I'm not really too sure how I feel about a sweater dress because I always feel fat in sweater dresses, and when I first looked at it, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be perfect for work, but then I put it on, and I'd be dying of heat at work because you have to wear it with boots. <laughs> well, I'd either be dying of heat or they would kill me for the air conditioning to be on, like, high. Next, I bought this plaid shirt. I do have a different plaid shirt, but I was honestly looking for a red plaid when I bought the blue plaid, but there's only blue plaid, which I like it. I like the blue, but I also wanted red, but I feel like yeah, I don't know. I don't even know which one I like more now, but I really wanted a red plaid shirt. So I bought this purple dress. I really love the long sleeve. It's going to be perfect for work, perfect for not work. Uh, I don't really think I own too much purple either, so it's a nice mix of colors in my wardrobe now. Next, I bought this shirt, and I'm absolutely in love with the fact that it's see-through, like, poofy on the bottom. I'm obviously going to be wearing a shirt underneath it because I'm not a stick, so I'm not comfortable showing my belly, but I really liked it. I bought this tube top, which I'm not going to be trying on. It was a dollar, and there's been a lot of shirts that I want, like a tube top just wearing it, because I, like, I don't want the strap showing, but I want my stomach to be covered, so this will be good for that. I bought this sports bra because it was really cheap and because I really liked it. I like wearing sports bras at home, even just for home workouts, because I like to wear a form of bra, so I need a few more. I bought this workout shirt. It says, good vibes every day, all day. And I just thought it was really cute. It has this like braid thing in the back. Next, I bought this shirt. I'm really liking the dress kind of shirts and I really like this pattern. I think I have a legging or two with this kind of pattern. Oh, and a sweater actually. I bought a bunch of infinity scarves because they were $2 and buy one, get one free. So it was a dollar each. So really, how can you go wrong? So I bought this one. I got this chevron print and then I got this bird and chevron print pink one and then I bought one other one but it's a gift so I'm not showing it. I got a gift card from Bath & Body Works, I can't even remember how long ago, like forever ago. So I went into Bath & Body Works today and it was buy one get one free of the three wick candles. So I went in and I smelled all of the candles and I really wanted to get a Christmas one but I wasn't digging the Christmas scent so I got this leaves one. It smells really good. I was. There's, an, there's three different kinds of leaf one, and I was tempted on getting the red one. I don't remember what it's called, but this one smells so good. And then I got another one, but that's also a gift. So I did some gift shopping today, too. And the last thing I bought for myself is this Urban Decay makeup palette. And I went in there, and I... Urban, De, Urban Decay palettes are a little bit more pricey than I like to spend, since I'm cheap. I usually... I like to get the Kat Von D and the Too Faced palettes. They're a little bit cheaper. They're at least like $20 cheaper and I feel like they're just as good. But when I went in there and looked at the new ones that they had, I wanted to get lighter shimmery colors and the one Kat Von D one was a matte one and I don't like matte. Yeah, so I need to get... Li I wanted lighter colors because I plan to stay blonde for a little while and dark eye makeup and the blonde I just don't feel like goes together really well. Like you have to really like be careful with it. So I picked up this one, even though Dark Hair Bonnie would have picked a million other different ones, but I thought this one would be really good because these are the kind of colors that I'm using off of my other palettes right now, so I thought this was a really good one to pick. I wasn't planning on buying anything for the girls. I went into the children's place there because it's a little bit bigger and the girls desperately need gum boots because apparently, even though it never snows and it just rains all the time, we don't have gum boots. We just get winter boots. So I was like hunting on the hunt for gum boots, but when I walked into the children's place, it was 40% off. So I picked up some Christmas shirts. I thought the girls would like this because it's animal print and it just says hashtag holiday selfie. And then I got this one. It's just a girl Christmas shopping. Got this one. I thought it was so cute and I love that it has blue on it because Hannah's favorite color is blue. And when I bought a lot of the like clothes back in September, there wasn't any blue out. It was just like pinks and reds. 
And then I got another blue one because I thought she would like this one. And then I picked up the girls a little red Christmas dress. It kind of reminds me of a candy cane. I thought it was super cute. I got them a pair of pants. Just one. And then finally, I got them gumboots. Ah, it was so hard to find these. I thought I was going to have to resort to having boy reboots. So I'm really stoked I found these. And they seem like really good quality. The girl's old ones were totally worn out, like right here. And Hannah ripped off right here, which could happen again. But they were so worn out on the bottoms that if they jumped in a puddle, they would get wet. So... Yeah, these ones look like there's a lot of wear room. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.